Scientists say another hydrothermal explosion is likely to occur at Yellowstone. The July 23, 2024, hydrothermal explosion at Yellowstone National Park's Biscuit Basin was dramatic and dangerous. It was the first explosion in the park to be clearly captured on video, and it highlighted what is often underappreciated as a source of danger. Hydrothermal explosions are triggered when liquid water turns to steam in an underground cavity. When the cavity or reservoir is connected to the surface, a geyser can form to release that pressure. When the reservoir becomes closed and confined, especially due to the deposition of silica, the mixture of liquid and steam builds up pressure in the confined space, much like a pressure cooker. If the pressure in the reservoir increases to a point where it exceeds the strength of the surrounding rock, the rock ruptures and an explosion occurs. The force of the explosion creates a crater or enlarges an existing one and throws rocks that can cause damage and injury. Geyser eruptions that eject rocks and mud such as the one photographed at Wall Pool in Biscuit Basin in 2009, are considered to be on the smaller end of the eruption spectrum. The 2018 Ear Spring eruption in the Upper Geyser Basin, while small, also ejected rocks a short distance but did not enlarge the existing pool. So whether or not this eruption should be classified as a hydrothermal eruption is debatable. Regardless, both events were caused by pressure disturbances in shallow hydrothermal systems. At the larger end of the hydrothermal explosion spectrum are craters that formed thousands of years ago many of which can be found in and around Yellowstone Lake. These craters are hundreds of feet wide and include Indian Pond, Turbid Lake, Duck Pond, Elliott's Crater, and Pocket Basin, among others. Mary Bay is the largest of these, and at 1.5 miles wide, it is the largest hydrothermal explosion crater in the world. Hydrothermal explosions in Yellowstone are defined by their size, which can be estimated based on the dimensions of the crater. However, determining the size of a crater can be challenging because some craters are submerged, some have eroded, and some formed sequentially over time. To find out how often explosions of different sizes occur, the crater ages need to be determined. While some explosions, such as the one on July 23, 2024, have been witnessed, most have not, and their ages may not be known with certainty. Despite the uncertainty in dating many explosion craters and determining their sizes, some patterns can still be extracted from the data. Small hydrothermal explosions that create craters only a meter or less across may occur as often as once a year or several times a year. The appearance of the largest craters is not random in time, as they can be triggered by external events. such as large earthquakes or landslides that cause pressure changes in shallow hydrothermal systems. All of Yellowstone's largest craters formed several thousand years ago, 
in many cases shortly after the last glaciation, which ended about 14,000 years ago.